Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at our first type of particle accelerator, which is the cathode ray tube. So let's get into it. Now, one of the simplest types of particle accelerator that you might come across is the cathode ray tube. And it looks like this thing here. And it says in a cathode ray tube, electrons are produced by the cathode when it is heated. So the cathode is over on the left hand side. It then says that a large potential difference is applied between the two metal plates, i.e. the anodes. So there's your two anodes there, the accelerating anodes they're called. And this creates an electric field between the plates. So when the cathode is heated, electrons are produced, which are then accelerated between the two anodes here. And that's due to the potential difference applied between the two plates and therefore the electric field that is set up. It then says that the electrons are accelerated between the plates until they reach the deflection coils which produce a magnetic field to change the path of the electron beam. So here are the deflection coils, the red parts shown on the diagram, and these deflection coils are basically just magnets that produce a magnetic field that will change the direction of the charged particles, the electrons. And that's because remember we've seen that a magnetic field will exert a force on a charged particle. So if the magnetic field bends the direction of the electrons, they will then travel straight once they've exited the magnetic field. It then says that when the electrons hit the phosphorescent screen, which is on this right hand side, a tiny flash of light is produced. And where do we see this kind of thing used? Well, it says also known as the electron gun, cathode ray tubes used to be found in the back of old television and computer monitors to produce images on the screen. And that is why these monitors used to be so big and wide with a large back to them. And it's because they used to have this thing, the cathode ray tube inside, and that's what was actually producing the color images on the screen. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.